Hiya, this is Kat for Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny. Now, you may have seen the video interview that I did last week with Tim Hill, who's the designer and founder of Ferguson Hill Speakers. Um, I've been playing with them for a couple of days now, and as you can see, they're here in front of me looking very resplendent in their perspex transparent glory. Um, now, we've got the FH007, which is um, basically the two horn speakers here, the two bass speakers and the integrated amp. Then we've got the FH008, which is the active subwoofer to uh, my right. It's quite a beefcake, as you can see, very large. Anyway, um, it may look like it's a 4.1 surround system, but as it's actually a mini speaker system, um, it, you're not going to be getting surround sound. Um, it's actually replicating the stereo sound by splitting it through the different speakers. Um, so if you're hoping that you know, you'll be able to get some amazing um, sound out of this bouncing around your living room, you may be disappointed. But for the average home audio setup, you're going to be really impressed with these. Um, now, as you can see, they're made from Perspex, and they do look like they're really fragile glass speakers, but no... Um, Check it out. <laughs> I did get a bit scared taking them out of the box, though, admittedly. Um, now, the subwoofer, um, the frequency re um, response is 45 to 150 hertz. So that means um, the switch on the back, you can control what you want. So if you're looking to um, listen to some, I don't know, classical music, maybe turn it down a bit. But if you're wanting to listen to some dance music and you want it to be really bass, subwoofer heavy, then I'd suggest turning it up a bit. Um, now, the, the inputs, um, I mean, there's the phono input and the line, line in. Um, I mean, it's okay. There's no optical input. So if you are looking to, um, I don't know, attach um, like a very high-end CD player or something, then you won't be able to actually put in the, um, input it through an optical input. Um, so just the phono and line in should be okay. Okay, so as you can tell, they're really style-led. Um, I mean, they are going to look remarkable in whatever room you put them in in your house, um, especially if you pair them next to your iMac or something Apple um, product because they are very Apple-esque, as you must agree. Um, now, what do I think about the sound quality? Well, I've been playing with them for a few days now, and for the price, um, I mean, the subwoofer is 275 and the mini speaker system is 495 So that's about close to £800. I would expect a bit better, to be honest, but as with Apple products, you're paying, you know, quite a bit, but not getting the best quality of something that... Um, well, yeah, that's a bit controversial, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, the I think the sound is good. The bass notes were really quite good, um, but the... The high notes could be a bit crisper, possibly. Um, I spoke to a few people in the office who agreed, including our cameraman, who's uh, been in the um, film industry for about 20 years or so. Anyway, um, so, I mean, I really like them, and I think that people will be very impressed by them, and obviously whatever source you connect, say your CD player or um, record player, um, I mean, it will dif differ, really, depending on the source. You can still get away with plugging your iPod in, but I would suggest something a bit more better quality, really. OK, now I'm going to play you about 30 seconds' worth of music. Um, the Manic Street Preachers, if you don't mind. <laughs> um, just so that you can experience the sound for yourself. Now, obviously, bear in mind that this video is on YouTube, so the quality is going to be compressed. And obviously, whatever speakers you're listening to this video with, yeah, it's probably not going to sound as good as what sounds sitting here. So here we go. I hope you enjoy.